I'll come into the player ratings now and uh, like West <laughs> like the West Ham gun the last ones I did these are these are a lot more easier <laughs> easier to do after performance like that and um, so we'll go through them uh, nice and quick here so we have Mingley um, didn't really have a lot to do um, anything that he did, he did he, anything that he needed to do he did pretty well except for that cry turn he did in the first half you know Lallana's back training all week he's clearly watching him so uh, he tried to do one in the first half and nearly fell on his ass so uh, for that alone I'll, I'll, I'll mark him down a grade um, I'll give I'll give Mengley six uh, you know one of those performances um, right back then Trent excellent performance absolutely excellent performance and uh Particularly after, you know, he he surely was watching that game, midweek the England game, and looked at the performance of Gomez and think, oh, Jesus, you know, am I going to struggle to get into this team? Am I going to get my chance? I've had a couple of chances earlier on the year where, you know, things have begun a bit meh for me. Uh, excellent performance. Grabbed his opportunity with both hands. You know, was a was it attacking outlet? Was it a defensive outlet? You know, uh, so many times, in, particularly in the first half, he came back and he won nicks and balls. And even at one stage, he comes back, he sprints back, gets a tackle and flicks it back off the Southampton player. Uh, and for a goal kick, and there's a big crowd, a big roar from the from the cop and all that. Um, Trent gets an eight for me. Brilliant performance. Um, the two centre halves, Lovren and Clavin, didn't really have a lot to do. You know, Clavin's biggest thing I think was smashing Tati straight away. Um, anything they had to do, they they did relatively okay. And the, the most important thing was they got through the game without any wobbles or any kind of ugh moments. So I'll give them a six each. It, you know, it's hard to rate centre halves in a in a in a performance like that. Um, Moreno, I thought he even had a brilliant game. I thought he pushed on pretty well. You know, he's added that he's shown that defensive side to his game as well. Um, it was a Moreno performance. And that's the biggest compliment I'll give him. Um, a seven for Moreno. Another very good performance. Um, you look at midfield. Um, Henderson thought uh, started the game very well. I thought he was aggressive. There was even one stage there in the second half where we lost the ball. I think Genie was on the ground and he jumped over him. He, he sprang out. Now he didn't actually get the ball back, but it showed that bite, that bit of fire that's in him. And you know, it's always the age old Chan Hendo, Chan Hedo, and that that debate will go on and on until Chan leaves for Juventus next season. But um, biggest thing compliment you'll give Hendo today is nobody nobody missed Chan. Uh, he had a very good game. Uh, um, he probably gets a seven. You know, a very, very good uh, attacking outlet. Genie hard one to rate today. You know, he was kind of one of these silent, but you know. Uh, silent but effective performances um anything he had to do he did well you know he didn't set the world alike but didn't really really do anything wrong um outshadowed by the other two midfielders and particularly the, the top three um probably a six you know probably been a little unfair there but you know he didn't really have a lot to do and you know it wasn't really a fault for anthony um coutinho excellent game absolutely excellent game you know for right from the off he was he was aggressive he kept trying to push forward the ball alone for the for the Salah second goal was beautiful. He kept on going. He took his chance. Then well, in the in, in the second half, just before he got hooked, I'll give Coutinho an eight. I thought he had an excellent performance and great to see him and uh, with a smile back in his face. And you know the celebration for his goal looked like a player that you know isn't looking for moving up. That's another another discussion. But you know we can only go from now and his performance on the pitch and he was excellent again today. And he got a great big hug from from Klopp uh, leaving the pitch. Uh, Coutinho gets an eight. And then we go to the fireworks up front, books. Um, I'm kind of it's like deja vu. I'm repeating myself again here. That attack in front three is absolute gold us, absolute joy to watch, and we're so lucky to have them at our club. Um, Manny, another excellent display right from the off. He gets his man. He spins on the ball. He keeps on running. And but actually, Mala, Manny and Sally, they, they the Southampton players were keep on niggling at them, keep on trying to trying to pull them back. And there's a lot of niggly fouls, but they just didn't react any sort of way. They kept on going, kept on going, direct hard running. And and the interplay um, from Manny gets an eight. Another brilliant performance, particularly you consider he comes into this game with a with an injury doubt. And he's beautiful, uh, beautiful performance, uh, and le- leaves with another big ovation. Um, eight for Manny, Bobby, another brilliant performance. Didn't get on the score sheet, but watch some of his movement, his hold up play. Watch his pressing, the pressing for the first goal alone. Watch the movement of him, uh, and the and the passing w- uh, with Manny for the for Coutinho's goal. The the flicks, the touches, just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful performance. Bobby gets an eight for me, uh, and then. Salah, the Egyptian god, what a what a belter of a signer he has been. Um, he does no stopping the guy. He just keeps on going. Fourteen goals, and it's not even December. Ah, like the finish for the first goal, the movement, the constant threat that he gives. Um, 
man of the match again. What can you say? And there's more to come. Salah gets a nine, man of the match, <laughs> whatever other award you want to give. Absolute belter of a performance. And uh, I, I repeat myself, is anything more beautiful in world football than watching him go away celebrating a goal with his tongue out? It's just a beautiful, beautiful sight. And long may it continue, folks. Um, absolutely buzzing after that performance. Uh, I think it's shown by the smile on my face. Uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to the Redmond TV. Uh, click on the bell to get the notifications. The guys will be back soon with more reaction from outside the ground. We'll talk to you all soon. Up the Reds.